Mrs. Keller for one minute, 30 seconds. Thank you very much. Rules are sure not perfect, but what makes them great and different is that they demand measurable progress. And because they are measurable, we can see that we are not on track currently, and we need to reinforce our efforts. The EU institutions, and that includes us, can do a lot to reach the targets. For example, we can use the reform of the fishery policies to support fisherwomen and fishermen in developing countries rather than industrialised fishing companies. We can use the CUP reform to focus on sustainable agriculture and eliminate all direct and indirect export subsidies. And we can stop ACTA, for which the Commission still hasn't delivered the proof that it will not hinder access to medicine and technology transfer. And we can finally recognize that you can't achieve maternal health without women's rights. All these examples show that development policy is more than a small field. Aspects of development policies can be found in all our committees, and we should be aware of that. Without policy coherence, and that is not just any coherence, but it's policy coherence for development, as it's stated in Article 208 of the Lisbon Treaty, we won't get anywhere. And this we should also take into account when designing the External Action Service. Finally, I would like to know from the Commission what your plans are also for the post-MDG commitments that we will also have to talk about at some point. Thank you.